Hey everyone, Jamie here, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how we can customize the look and feel of our WordPress blog or website. And we're not going to be doing this by installing a new theme, but we're just going to be editing the theme that we have already installed. In our case it's the 2017 theme that came when we installed WordPress on DreamHost, uh, and this is likely the default theme for anybody that's recently installed WordPress. Um, so what we're going to be doing is changing the header here, uh, the header text, the subheader here, uh, as well as the image that's in the background. And then there are a couple of other settings that we can take a look at as well. And one thing to note too is that the settings that we see in the theme editor are going to differ depending on what theme is installed. So if you have a different theme and you don't see some settings or maybe you have some extra settings, uh, that's okay. So let's take a look at how we can go about uh, updating these settings. So there are two ways to get there. So we can just click on this customize button here, uh, or if you're already in the WordPress dashboard, you can go ahead and scroll down to uh, appearance and then click on customize. And this is just going to give you the option to customize the theme that you're already using. So you'll see over here, this is where we're going to have our options of what we can customize with our theme. Uh, and then over here is going to be what uh, a preview of what our theme is going to look like once we apply these settings here. So it's nice that you can actually go ahead and see what things look like before you actually publish them out to your website. So let's take a look at what these settings uh, give us. So if we click on site identity here, you'll notice that we have the option to upload a, lo uh, upload a logo uh, as well as adjust our site title and tagline. Uh, and also we have the option to install a site icon, uh, otherwise known as a fav icon or fav icon. And that's usually what you see uh, up here. Uh, in tabs and things like that. So let's go ahead and just adjust our site title. So we're just going to delete this text here and we're going to uh, enter in technical.cafe to match our domain name. And then we're going to go down here and just adjust our tagline. Uh, we can remove it all together or maybe we can say something like your source for tech news. And then if, uh, there's also the option, maybe you don't want to display either of these on your website. Uh, you can just go ahead and uncheck this box and it disappears. All right, so let's go ahead and publish this here. So any changes that we made over here and saw over here are going to now appear on the live website. So let's go back to our uh, customization panel here. And the next thing we can do is take a look at the color section that's available to us. So real quick before we change anything, uh, this is the current color selection that we're using. So we're using the, um, the light color scheme here. Uh, but there are also options to change it so that it, you have a, a darker color scheme with a darker background and lighter text. Uh, and then you can also customize things by moving this slider and adjusting your header color text to suit your, your personal uh, wants. So I'm just going to leave it on light. I think it looks okay there. And we'll just hit publish. Then the next thing we're going to do is take a look at the header media. So this particular theme called 2017 has a large header here that uh, kind of parallax scrolls and then brings you into the website. So there's the option to update some things here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we can add a video if we'd like. We can either upload the video to WordPress itself or we can use a YouTube video. So I went ahead and found this loop of some, some bubbles. And uh, if we just take the URL here, copy it, and then jump back over to our uh, theme editing panel, we can go ahead and paste this in, and you can see now what our theme would look like if we had these bubbles here. So uh, I don't necessarily like this from YouTube because it has the the, the title of the video up there, but uh, if you have a video that maybe you want to upload or you want to use from YouTube, um, it's kind of cool. You can just have an image up there, uh, or video up here. Uh, in, in our case, let's just delete this, and then it just puts back our default image here. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a different header here. So right now the current header is this uh, like plants on a coffee table. Uh, but we can go ahead and add a new image if we'd like. So I actually cropped a, an image. So let's go ahead and select some files here. And if we go over to desktop, we can go to buildings and open that up. And this is just a nice picture of some buildings that I found on pexels.com when I searched technology. Uh, it appeared right here. So let's go ahead and select and crop. And we'll give it a second here to load. And we'll crop the image. Should just take a few seconds. And then this is our image here. Uh, one thing to note here is that the image size is going to be uh, about 2000 by 1200. And I actually pre-cropped this in Photoshop before the video. Um, and this is also going to be the size or recommended size of the video as well. So now you'll see here that instead of our plants, we have this, uh, this nice image of some buildings. Um, so let's go ahead and save this here by publishing it out. And this is now going to show up on our live website. So if we go back here to our customization settings, you'll notice that there's also the option to add menus. Right now we don't have any menus on our WordPress theme, uh, but there is the option to add a menu down here where you can maybe put some pages like an about page, a contact page, and et cetera, et cetera. 
And then there's also, I believe, another menu spot for this theme uh, as well. And you can go ahead and just choose or create a new menu. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, but um, that's just that option is there if you'd like. And then on this theme as well, there's the, the option to edit some widgets. And you'll notice here that we have our sidebar on the right. And then down here, uh, there's also a nice footer. So there's the options to edit some or edit, add, or remove widgets from either of these locations. So you'll notice that with our search box here, if we were to go ahead and say search, you'll notice that the title search uh, appears right above this search box. And then most of our, our widgets here have options that you can go ahead and edit uh, to suit your liking. So let's go ahead and just hit publish. And that change that we made to our search box will now be live on the website. So going back to our editor here, um, you'll notice that there are also some homepage settings. So let's say, for example, we don't want to have our blog as the homepage of our website when the user first lands on it. That's fine. We can just go ahead and select a static page instead. Um, and the only other page we have here is a sample page. But if we were to do that, when the user first hits our website, they'll see this page here. Uh, and you may want to put like company information or something, uh, depending on what theme you're using. But that's just a way that we can go ahead and do that. And then our posts would obviously be a different page, uh, depending on uh, how you set this up. So we're not going to save those changes. Uh, but then let's take a look at the last option we have here, which is additional CSS. And this is going to give us the option to have some more granular control over the look and feel of our website, especially if you know how to use CSS. So let's say we wanted to update the color of a certain paragraph tag or something like that. We can go ahead and do that by writing custom CSS code here. Um, but I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing with CSS or you know somebody uh, who can help you out with that. So that's basically it. This is how we can go about updating our theme settings. Um, this is great for when you first, you know, install a new theme and you want to make sure it's tweaked and, and um, working perfectly to suit your needs. Uh, one thing to note again, though, is that every theme is going to have different settings. Uh, so you might not have a color section here. Instead, you might have a featured section uh, that basically specifies what tag you use to post things in a slider or something like that. So not all themes are going to have the same, th uh, same settings. But for the most part, uh, all of your you know, title and stuff like that are going to be editable from the theme customization panel. So that's all for now. Feel free to let me know if you have anything, uh, any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.